again we have another new topic here sum of two cubes let again be a and b be two terms in algebraic expression and a be the first term and b be the second term in algebraic expression and we have rule here look a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square it means first terms cube plus second terms cube is equal to first term plus second term times first term square minus first term times second term plus second term square we have rule here uh, sorry we have proof here let's prove this expression first a plus b we are writing this expression and we are going to find this expression a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square let's multiply by one by one a times a square is equal to here a cube and a times minus a b is equal to minus a square b then a times b square is equal to plus a b square and b let's multiply by b a square b times a square plus a b a square b then b is multiplied by minus a b is equal to minus a b square and last one let's multiply b by b square this will be b cube and is equal to here look guys here minus a square b and plus a square b these are like terms we can cancel these like terms and here a b square in rectangle and minus a b square also will be cancelled because of like because of this is the first one is positive second one is negative so we get just a cube we get a cube plus b cube it means first term cube plus second terms cube so we have proved this expression by multiplying and let's go on We're, we have some examples here a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square this is the fir our first term is here a so a cube plus second term is b b cube so this factor is equal to a cube plus b cube the sum of two cubes next let's go on to the next example also first term plus second term first term square minus first term times second term plus second term square so we have first term here x cubed x and cubed then second term is y so plus y cube this factors are the factors of these two expressions are factors of x cube plus y cube and next let's go into next example m plus n times m square minus m times n plus n square so here our first term is m cube and our second term is n so plus n cube this is the expand form of these are the expand of form of this sum of two cubes and let's go to next examples let's try to solve another examples x plus 2y times x square minus 2xy plus 4y square so we have this first term x cube and second term is plus 2y cube it means we'll take this in parentheses because 2y is this is second term so we can write this we can write this one x cube plus 2 cube will be 8 and y cube will be y cube this is sum of two cubes next let's go to next example x plus 3y times x square minus 3xy plus 9y square it means first term plus second term times first term square minus first term times second term 
plus second term square. 3y square will be 9y square. This is second term square. So our first term is our first term is x cubed plus second term is 3y cubed. If you open this second term, first term I'm, I'm writing here x cubed plus if you open the second term, so 27, 3 cubed will be 27 and y cubed will be y cubed. Next, try to, let's try to solve another example here. 2x, 2x plus 3y times 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared. It means first term plus second term. First term squared, this is first term squared, minus first term times second term plus second term squared. So our first term is here 2x cubed plus second term is 3y. 3y cubed. Let's open up these two terms. 2 cubed will be 8 and x cubed will be just x cubed. Plus 3 cubed will be 27 and y cubed will be just y cubed. This is sum of this is sum of two terms. The cube of this is uh, cube of sum of two terms. Next, find the products. Let's try to solve this example. This first term plus second term times first term squared minus first terms first term. Look here guys, there is a mistake here. First term square minus first term times second term. This here must be 3. We have a mistake. 3x and plus second term square is 9. Second term is here 3. So x cubed plus this 3 cube. 3 cube is equal to x cubed plus 27. This is our answer. And let's go to next example. x plus 1 times x squared minus x times 1. It means there is a 1 here. Plus 1. So first term. Our first term is here. x cubed plus our second term is 1 cubed. 1 cubed means just 1. And guys, let's solve. Let's try to solve inversely. We, we are given. We are given a cube plus b cube and let's try to solve this example inversely let's hear first we have rule here a cube plus b cube a cube plus b cube first term plus second term times first term square minus first term times second term plus second term let's use this formula for this ones then our first term is here our first term is here a and second term is here b so a plus b first terms first term plus second term times first term square minus first term times second term plus second term square this is expand form of this expression so the same logic x cube plus y cube our first term is here x and second term is here y so x plus y first term plus second term x squared first term squared minus first term time first term times second term plus second term square. This is expand form expand form of this x cube and y cube. And let's go to next m plus m cube plus n cube. So our first term is m here, second term is n here. So m plus n first term plus second term times m squared minus mn plus m times n means n squared. This is expand form of these expressions. So we are some examples. We have some examples here. So our first term is here x and 8. Which number is cube? So 2 cube, yes, 2 cube. So our second term is here 2. So 
We can write this one. We can write this one. This expression. X cubed plus 2 cubed. And let's try. Let's expand this expression. X plus 2. X plus 2. First term plus second term. X squared minus 2X plus second term. What's second term? 2 squared. 2 squared will be just 4. This is expand form as of X cubed plus Y. And here, what is the first term here? Which number is cubed is 27? 3 cubed. And this is y cubed. Then our first term is 3 cubed. Yes, this is first term. So first term plus which number is cubed? 8. 8 is 2 cubed. So our second term is here 2. So 3y plus 2 times 3y square minus 2 times 3y first term times second term plus 2 square and let's uh, write in standard form so 3y plus 2 times in parentheses 3 square will be 9 and y square will be just y square minus 3 times 2 is equal to 6 y plus 4 this is expand form of these cubes sum of two cubes then the same logic so 27 y cube 27 which numbers cube 3 cube so our 3 and y cube is equal to just y 3 y cube our first term is 3 y plus second term Tw uh, 64 which number is cube 4 cube so okay 4 is second term 3y plus 4 times 3y square minus 3y times 4 first times second plus second square 4 square let's write in standard form this expression 3y plus 4 3y so 3 squared is equal to 9 y squared will be y squared minus 3 times 4 12 y plus 4 squared will be 16 this is standard form of the sum of two cubes and last example here y cubed plus 27 so our first term is here y and which numbers 27 which numbers cube 3 cube 3 so our second term is just 3 so y plus 3 times y squared first square minus first times second plus second square let's write in standard form here y plus y plus 3 times y squared minus 3y plus 9 this is expand form of y cubed plus 27 and let's try to solve this example, that's the last example, and we'll finish our video. Okay, let's try to solve this example. First, we are given x plus y is equal to 1 and x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 7 or 16. Are given here, find x times y. This is times y, yeah, product of x and y. We are given here multiple choice a is 1 over 32 b is 2 or 16 c is equal to c is 1 over 8 and d is equal to 1 let's try to find this example this uh, example's answer firstly let's open using our uh, using our rule let's open this one x cube plus y cube is equal to let's expand this uh, sum of two cubes Let's expand. The first term is here x plus y. Second term is here y. x plus y. x squared. First term squared minus. First term times second term plus second term squared. And here x plus y is equal to just y here from here. We are given here. So how will, uh, how will solve? Go on next. 
don't forget we have let's here give hint x square plus y square is equal to x plus y in parentheses square minus 2xy you know you know this expression from previous lessons because this uh, the expand form of this one you have passed it in previous lessons so let's use this example so 7 over 16 x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 7 over 16 7 over 16 is equal to instead of this expression we have written 7 over 16 and x plus y is equal to 1 times 1 times and x plus y minus xy so x plus y use let's use this expression let's use this expression instead of x square plus y square x plus y square minus 2xy and here minus xy from here instead of x square y square we have written this expression so here 7 over 16 is equal to this again this x plus y is equal to 1 here from here we can use 1 times 1 square minus they they are like terms x y and x y so 2 x y minus 2 x y minus x y will be minus 3 x y and here 7 over 16 is equal to just 1 times 1 square will be 1 minus 3 x square Let's take this minus x square to the left hand side of the expression and this 7 over 16 to the right hand side of expression. So if you take this 2, 3xy, we get just plus 3xy is equal to 1. This is positive number, positive rational number will be negative rational number 7 over 16. And here will be 1 and let's take LCM of these two numbers so 1 times 16 will be here 3xy is equal to we can write 1 over 1 like 16 over 16 minus 7 over 16 it means 3xy is equal to we can write in one fraction bar 16 16 minus 7 will be 9 over 16 so Let's go on. 3xy is equal to 16 minus 7 is equal to 9 and will be 16 just. xy is equal to, we are taking this 3 to the right hand side of the equation. This is product, multiple, multiplication, so will be division. 9 over 16 times 1 over 3 because this is multiplication will be division one word if we cancel here by 3 it will be 3 and 16 so x times y is equal to 3 over 16 16 sorry we have found our answer so 1 and b will be our answer thank you for watching and don't forget you have we have here um, oh you we have here your homework I'll put this homeworks for you and if you have activity book with you then page number you can open page number 17 9 write the following as a product of two expressions here some four examples here and I have written here also examples and also examples one multiple choice I'll put for homework here okay thank you very much